What is going on, guys? It is your girl, Janiqua A, and I am back with another reading for you guys. If no one told you guys today, I love you, and I know all your dreams and aspirations matter because they do. So big, big, big message, all right? This, whatever that's going on in your life, whatever opportunities, whatever you've been hoping and praying for, this is the time to make it happen because Chiron, the wounded healer planet, and the North Node is in alignment right now. All right? That is a one in a lifetime alignment. Okay? Chiron being a wounded healer. Chiron is coming to heal you. Chiron is coming to heal everything. Shout out to my favorite reader, Chiron. <laughs> Chiron intuition. All right? Chiron intuition. Whichever way y'all want to call it. He's amazing reader. I love you. I love you. I love you. All right. I will link his channel down in the description box below. All right. But Chiron, the wounded healer planet is coming. It's here. It's aligned with our North Node. Our North Node is our destiny. Our South Node is what we trying to fix. Our karma, shit like that. All right. Let me charge my battery. Y'all about to be charged. All right, y'all, y'all battery was dead. My battery dead on my phone. Y'all energy was dead. Y'all about to be charged the fuck up. You hear me? Something is about to come in and make you feel charged, make you feel energized. Okay. All right. Yeah. You're going to feel like a star. You're going to feel like a present. There's a present coming. All right. But this is a time where magic is happening. Magic is happening around you guys. Okay, magic is happening because these planets are aligning in the right way. There's no planets in retrograde until April 1st. All right, so let's tap in and see how is this alignment, Chiron and the North Node, affecting you guys and influencing your activities, your energy, your behavior. Spirit, what they need to know, Archangel Michael and Allegra, please protect me. Protect my mind. Damn, somebody mad. Protect my mind, my body, and my spirit. My chakras as we uh, um, chat, uh, damn, I said as we chat, we about to chat, we about to sip some tea, but what's going on here, looking at my dogs, all right, y'all eating right now, all right, y'all got a lot of food on y'all plate, y'all got, y'all got an overflow of food, y'all not hungry in no areas of your life, and somebody hungry, because all of my other dogs got food, and Empress ate all her food, <laughs> it's not funny, so now she tight because she don't have nothing in her bowl left. And for um for some of you guys, a lot of the people that's upset that you eating right now, they spill all their food like they they fumbled their bag because she was so angry at the other dogs that she spilled her food all over the place. So everybody just all over the place with their shit because they allowed their emotions to fuck up their opportunities. Damn, you see how you know your spirit guys will talk to you. But that's what's going on. So let's see. Let's see what you need to know. What is the most accurate messages around my wonderful collectors right now? Damn, I told y'all somebody trying to disrupt y'all plans because they not eating right. They shit all over the place. All right. This is also giving return to send up. All right. But somebody, somebody plans not taking off. There was a sudden change of events that caused somebody to turn back around or something happened to where it delayed somebody suddenly all right this could be a trick this could be just plans all right but there's some, yeah there's some sort of disruptions here when it comes to a home when it comes to moving um when it comes to even setting boundaries all right um april 1st oh my gosh remember what i said no planets are in retrograde until April 1st, 4-1. April 1st. All right, so April 1st, April Fool's Day. I'm hearing somebody is about to be fooled. I'm so sorry. Somebody feel like their plans are going the right way, and I feel like they've been doing stuff and wronging people, and they're going to have a rude awakening. You cannot expect to live a favorable life while doing others dirty. You cannot expect expect your plans to take off if you doing people dirty. And I feel like April 1st, somebody's gonna be fooled. 
All right, because there's some sort of there's some sort of change that's coming. That's about to shake up somebody's situation. I'm also hearing somebody not attending to the details. All right, but lightning about the about the strike. Lightning is about to strike, and this has everything to do with the planets going back in retrograde April first. All right, because if, if y'all not doing what y'all need to do right now, if y'all not, you know, taking a time out and investing in yourself and releasing, separating, adding value and being open, disruptions are ahead. Okay, April 1st. I'm hearing April Fool's Day is going to really trip somebody out. You hear me? It's going to be, it's going to be like a flash of lightning. All right, this can't even be for some of you guys. Shut up. It's going to be an argument. There's going to be arguments surrounding this, this situation. All right, but maybe a trip is going to be canceled because of a storm. Maybe you have a storm. All right. But this car kind of wants you to not just expect the unexpected, but to embrace it. Better embrace it because it's coming. All right. This, this message might be uh, a confirmation for you to get ready and to embrace this unexpected sudden change of events that's about to happen. All right. The unknown and unanticipated cause. All right. People to fear the worst. Don't fear the worst. Just, just prepare. All right. This call also can signify events happening suddenly out of the blue. Right? A single sentence can unveil information. What somebody's saying, it could it could cause an epiphany. But it's gonna be sudden. Okay? These moments are gonna shock the shit out of you. It's gonna shake up your system, whether positive or negative. Okay? And since you can't plan for this surprise, this card is about to be a lesson in the unpredictable nature of life. Like you can't control everything. So you're about to learn that you have to release control. All right. So this is shock and change here. An act of God. This is like the tower moment. An act of God. This is, this is God's will. This is God's disruption. This is God's lightning. All right. You might also be enlightening. En enlightenment. This might be a, a time of enlightenment for you. Where you realize you're not supposed to go somewhere. Or you realizing that delay was for a reason. But God's rejection was your protection. Okay. You might have been going somewhere and something would have happened. So let's see what this is all about. April 1st. Have you on April Fool's Day? Spirit, what, what about this um, disruption that the collectives need to know? Yeah, Queen of Cups. Somebody got a Rita gun. This could be about a Rita. All right, you could be traveling. Somebody could have went to a Rita to get information on um, a situation that is about to unfold and what's to come. All right, but the Queen of Cups in his deck is a tea leaf Rita. She is someone that gives you wise counsel when it comes to your emotions, when it comes to a situation that's going to bring you the best outcome for yourself. All right. This is somebody you trust. Okay. This is somebody that is very, very skillful at what they do. They are a master at intuition and guidance. This is somebody that been through it emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and financially. This is somebody very wise. This is somebody you could trust. All right, so you could have been talking to somebody. You could have a mentor. You could have a, just a favorite reader that you watch. But this reader has been warning you about the disruptions that's about to unfold and what's to come. This reader could see in the unseen times and the unseen places. All right, she's giving you the tea. He's giving you the tea. Spirit, what else? Yeah, the King of Cups. The Queen and King of Cups. This is a match. So somebody is receiving wise counsel from somebody that they really, really feel a strong 
romantic attraction to. This is somebody that's a peer, like Queen and King of Cups. Somebody is actually listening. This King of Cups is actually allowing this Queen of Cups to, to, to proceed with whatever that they're talking about. Whether they introducing them to Tarot, whether they're introducing them to speaking about their feelings. All right, but this is a pair. There could have been an argument. There could have been some sort of disruptions. Disruption and y'all plans happening, but this is a pair. This is a conversation. It's looking like a very, very mature conversation between two people getting over some sort of chaos or confusion. These are two people that is level-headed, that knows how to communicate. There may be a little emotions involved, like crying and stuff, but because of the King and Queen of Cups, this is a very romantic um, partnership and very heartfelt partnership. But it's looking like a conversation that's about to be had where two people are really going to listen to each other. No cursing, no, no disrespecting, all right? The Queen of King of Cups is not like that. So there's a conversation between two loving people that really love each other that is really just about to express their side and how they feel about a situation and why their plans or moving forward got disrupted. Okay? Wow. Yeah, prepare for this conversation. I think it's going to be a healing conversation. If you are a reader and your person like what's kind of like stands or fish to terror for a lot of you guys they're gonna come in and they're gonna they're gonna want to give you a reading i mean they them <laughs> they're gonna want you to give them a reading all right so your person if you are a reader your person might come in and be like yo can you give me a reading you know what i'm saying i trust your judgment yeah ten of cups this is a match the king queen and ten of cups this is the same suit Y'all about to get shit together. You all with your kingdom spouse. There was a, a very shocking situation that happened very suddenly to kind of um, disrupt things a little bit, but always get it back together. The queen and king of cups to the ten of cups, this is your happily ever after. It gets no happier than this. It gets no fuller than this and enjoy and creativity. All right. Y'all meeting each other halfway. Y'all both bringing something to the table now. This is a fresh start to your North Node. All right? Chiron, remember the planet, the wounded healer, all right, is aligning. It's aligning with... um. Chiron, the wounded healer, and the North Node, your destiny. So you and somebody got a contract, a soul contract together where y'all supposed to live a very happy life. This is um this is soul on a soul level. All right, this is um legacy. This is your ancestors, this is generational. Um, alignment here with who you supposed to co-create with who is for you and whatever happened between you guys I don't know what it, it could have been anything it could have been something so so silly that y'all now getting over but Chiron aligning with the North Node y'all about to get over it this is your person that is really gonna fulfill you and vice versa y'all starting a new beginning together Y'all probably going to move in together, all right, where y'all both bringing something to the table. It's something new. Y'all don't have outside influence in y'all ear. Y'all don't have outside influence in y'all business and what's going on behind closed doors. So that's what's going on. Chiron is coming to fix any type of dispute or disruptions made to separate you guys. All right, there may have been some sort of separation or some sort of not talking or some sort of um, interference here.
but this is your person. This is a brand new start to a new life, a loving life, emotional safe. Um, you're going to feel emotional safety here. Creative, feeling loved, supported, included. A new start. All right, so wow. Wow. Spirit, give me more on this Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups, King of Cups, and Ten of Cups. I don't even think I never got that in a row before. All right? These are two people that love each other. It's like a love movie, like a romantic soap, soap opera. Spirit, give me more of this Queen of Cups. Yeah. The hangman. She's been observing. She's been watching. All right? Or somebody has been watching her. Okay, but this is all about good news coming in, eight of wands. All right, this is all about your manifestations. All right, for some of you guys, whoever in this Queen of Cups energy, you you gave somebody some wise counsel. And you was just waiting to see what was going to be done with the information that was given. What the, what the guidance that was given. You know, you could lead somebody to the, to the, to the water. You can't make them drink it right you could tell somebody how you feel on a situation and what's about to unfold as far as what you see but you can't make somebody listen to you so you provided somebody with some type of wise counsel on a situation as best as you could with the information that you have all right and you waited you watched from afar maybe you you gave somebody space to see what they was going to do with the information that you provided them with to see if they was going to do the right thing. You can't force nobody. All right. So you was working with Devon time in here. All right. You was being enlightened um, at the same time. But you knew how to step back. You knew to how to be observant and see you know, what, you know, you again, you can't force nobody. Like, you know, us readers, we cannot force you guys to believe us. We can't force you guys to, to take everything that we say. But it's up to you to put the energies where it fits and as needed. You know what I'm saying? So, you, you did what you needed to do as far as guiding somebody in the right way on what you were seeing that was about to unfold and what's to come. And you sit there and you observe how this person went about things. What was this person doing based off of what they know to do now? All right, hang me in energy. Spirit, um, give me more of this King of Cups. Yeah, this is definitely a love reading. Wow, page of swords. All right, so it's looking like you was checking this person. All right, it's looking like you was calling this person out. It's looking like you was speaking your mind to this person, all right, with this page of swords, okay? And it's looking like um, you spoke, you cleared your throat chakra with something. Like there was some sort of communication had or a conversation where you told somebody honestly how you felt and you had receipts. All right, you allowed your thoughts to process so that way when this conversation was had, you made sure to express every little detail on how you felt. You didn't hold nothing, nothing back and you was observant. You didn't move fast, all right? You didn't move impulsively with this King of Cups. You based your opinion on something. You, you gave wise counsel. You approached the situation with with a nurturing energy and love and compassion. And you sat there and watched. And when the time came to have a conversation, you had that conversation. It was clear. It was honest. Okay. And I feel like with this eight of wands, it keep coming back out. Now it's time to create. Now it's time to get over whatever y'all had to do to get over this. Y'all talked it out. The king and queen of cuss is going to talk it out. They're not going to fight. They're going to talk it out. I just feel like there was a situation where you told somebody the honest truth instead of trying to shield their feelings. You spoke the truth. You spoke from your heart. And you processed everything. 
every little detail so that way you don't leave nothing out so that way y'all won't separate the conversation unsure or confused you make sure that you were correct and clear about how you felt on something and i feel like whatever you said this king of cups was definitely agreeing with you so again it's all about understanding it's all about communication i feel like this is a very good conversation that's about to be had because y'all about to get over something and y'all getting back to creating yeah the chariot energy the chariot is telling you in this reading that there's perseverance in this relationship over some sort of dispute all right this is this is a short success over a conflict something could be baking in the oven this could be something about to be done um or something is ready like to um create now or enjoy all right um but your hard work is paying off all right this was all about patience divine timing not rushing something all right so whatever altercation whatever dispute whatever disruptions along your plans to get to the ten of cups with your kingdom spouse because king and queen of cups that's a match you have overcame the adversity and it's back to creating and it's back to moving forward. This is advancement in this relationship and in this family. This is progress and this partnership after a delay or a disruption. All right. This is damn sure success over any sort of conflict that y'all have because y'all more understanding. It's looking like this conversation was heartfelt where whether or not y'all agree Y'all was able to be mature enough to understand where one was coming from. And that's great. All right. This is all about teaching each other in a relationship, guiding each other in a relationship. And with this chariot, again, it's Archangel Michael. This is moving forward. All right. After a long time coming or a short time coming for some of you guys of disruption, of shit feeling rocky and things not taking off like how it's supposed to. Oh, it's taking off now. It's taking off with somebody that you really, really love. Somebody that you honestly care about. And somebody, y'all both look like y'all want to see each other win. Y'all both look like y'all bring something valuable to the table. All right. And it's only one candle. This is your twin flame. All right. Y'all about to be lit. Y'all about to light that candle together. Something is igniting here. All right. So be prepared for the unexpected. All right. Because... You are about to go from being unsure to in a full-blown commitment, happy life, understanding each other. There's something baking in the oven, all right, where there's something that's about to be ready to take off. Something is completely done, all right? And this just brought y'all closer, all right? This is brought y'all closer. A lot of you guys didn't know which way to pursue. Not no more. Y'all going to be so sure, all right, together king and queen of cups so congratulations this was amazing amazing all right